I want to understand though are what are the you know places of numbers you know like whether the tenths place the hundreds place or if it's the million millions place or millionths place and what the difference is between all these terms so let's take a look at this really long uh, number here and kind of break down you know which uh, you know place that we're looking at so first of all if you look at your decimal place if you go to the left this is called the units place okay so that's like one unit two unit three units these are single digits right then when you get over to here these are the tens the hundreds the thousands ten thousands hundred thousands millions ten millions hundred millions billions okay so you're with me so far and it keeps going right but if you go this direction it starts off with tenths now notice how I said that THS tenths that tells you that it's smaller than one okay whereas tens that's where this nine is tens that doesn't have that THS we know that this is greater than one okay so then here we have the tenths the hundredths thousandths ten thousandths hundred thousandths millionths ten millionths hundred millionths billionths ten billionths now notice those all had a THS on the end so now what we want to talk about is the rounding now when you round the key is you want to figure out where you are at okay in the in the number so if I wanted to round let's just say to uh, uh, this digit right here okay then what I would do is I would say all right let me go one digit to the right meaning one digit smaller if it's five or more okay that's halfway right five or more we're gonna round up so if this is five or more and in this case it's a nine so we would round this up to the next number which would be nine now if it's four or less what we do is we just keep it the same we're actually rounding down but we keep this number the same and then these would end up being zero so let's go through some examples I'll show you what I mean so say for example this one this is 548,120 we want to round to the ten thousandths uh, say, sorry ten thousands place not the ten thousands the ten thousands right because this is a not a decimal but what you want to do you can see we're want to round to this place we're going to go to one place to the right one place smaller if this is five or more we want to round up so it's an eight we're going to want to round up so this is going to be five hundred fifty thousand now we need these zeros here because these are placeholders right so there's our decimal point right there now if this had only been let's just say a four then it would have been five four zero 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 we would be rounding down so if this was only a, um, a four it's not enough to bump it up to the next number to round up so we round down and you always want just this number to be the last you know number the rest of these are going to be zeros okay so we're rounding down okay let's go to the next example so 4.6253 or the correct way to pronounce it is four and 6,253 ten-thousandths. Okay, because this is tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousandths. Okay, but we want to round to this hundreds, hundredths place, right? So we go one more to the right, that's one smaller. We ask ourselves, is it five or more? It is, so it's more than one half, uh, more than halfway. We want to then round up. Okay, so this is going to be 4.63. And these are going to be zeros but we don't have to write these zeros because they're not placeholders you can add as many zeros as you want on the end of a decimal like this but it doesn't change the value of the decimal whereas this one here you can see your decimal points here if we keep adding zeros in front of that decimal point the number is going to get larger and larger but here by adding zeros after the decimal point to the right of the decimal point it doesn't change the value of the number okay let's look at this one here 31.0421 or the way that you would really pronounce this is 31 and 421 ten thousandths because the last digit is in the ten thousandths place right okay so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go one place to the right okay of the the digit that we want to round to if it's five or more we round up four or less we round down this is only a two so we're gonna keep this the same it's gonna be 31.04 these become zeros but you don't need to write the zeros you know these are not uh, important to the number it's not going to change the value of the number you can drop those okay the last example here uh, 149,998 now this is an interesting example because what happens is we go one digit to the right of the decimal we want to round to this is an eight it's five or more which means we're going to round up well when you round up a nine that becomes a ten right so that means this becomes zero okay for ten we carry the one that becomes ten right 
Okay, so then we carry the 1. That becomes 10. We carry the 1. That becomes 5. So this number ends up becoming 150,000, right? So when we round it up, right, that became a 10, right? So that means that it carried over to the next digit, next digit, in that case, because it's just like with, if you've ever seen an odometer, right, where you hit that, you're at the, the 999,999, right? And then the next one that it turns, it goes to a million, right? And what happened was, this was enough to, you know, raise this up to a 10, and then that one carried over and so on. So then all of those are, all those are turning at the same time. So this is how you would work with uh, rounding. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, check out more math tutoring videos on Mario's Math Tutor YouTube channel. And I look forward to seeing you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.